All right, so we're starting against the legend, the, the man, the myth, the legend, Ari and Tari. Now, the problem with playing Tari is I don't want to be solid here and make a draw. So I'm going to play C6 and do something different. Um, I mean, I could play E5, Knight 6, but he could force a draw in round one. I just, I, I'd rather play chess in round one. Or, yeah, let's, let's uh, see how it goes. Let's play D5. All pretty normal so far. Karl Khan. Tari thinking for a bit here. Let's see what he does. Why is he thinking so long here? Me, me, actually, again, as I, as I said many times, for those of you who have watched the stream, we are playing without increment. Um, so because we're playing without increment, it is kind of important to move quickly in these. Uh, now, he plays the line that I played growing up, C3. There are many ways to approach this. Um, finally, there's something unusual that I can play. I think I'll just stick to a solid side of me with G6. There are many ways to play this. Um, I kind of want to do something unusual, but same time, it's so early in the opening that it doesn't really make sense. Now, Tari is somebody who generally is pretty slow as well. So I'm going to do... I mean, Bishop G4 is a move. It's it's not the move. Um, nah, I think I'm just going to... I'm just going to play solid chess with Bishop G7 and Bishop F5 maybe. Um, and Knight F6 next move. I mean, all, all very normal. Plays Bishop E2. Couple of ideas here. Now... I mean, knight f6 is the obvious human move. It doesn't mean it's the best line. I mean, there, there are a couple ways. He's knight a3, is bishop f4, he's got h3. It's all, all very standard so far. Yeah, h3, of course, creates a square for the bishop as well. So what do I want to play is the question. J'ai uh, en question. Maybe knight d7? I mean, this is not the right way of playing it, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, and I'm going to play for f6 and e5. I'm sure this is wrong, but you know what? Life is too short to worry. I also could have played queen c7 here to stop bishop f4. He plays knight bd2. I mean, f6 is probably bad. But I also kind of want to play it. I mean, I kind of want to play it, even though I, I'm pretty sure it's wrong. Now, let's just be solid. Let's just play a6, b5 here. Play simple chess. No, no need to get too, too wild. Still very early in the game. I mean, he has g4 somewhere, but I think I have bishop e4. Uh, I also have knight b6 maybe next move. That's not too crazy either way. Plays a3, which I actually am not a huge fan of, because I think my knight is lurking now. I've got multiple jumps. Time pretty balanced, nothing too crazy so far. But I have, I have multiple jumps here because the pawn supports them both. There's knight b3. I mean, I guess knight c5 is his idea. I don't really know what's going on. So I'm going to play knight c4. He'll probably go queen c1 to hold the pawn. And I'll probably go queen c8 is my guess. He takes, which I'm actually, I'm actually kind of very surprised by that. I did not expect that at all. Um, okay, that, that actually caught me completely off guard. I was not expecting that. Um, which way do I take? I have multiple captures. dc4 looks kind of wrong. bc4 doesn't look wonderful either, but... I don't know, it seems right with like queen b6 maybe. And I have bishop c8, or I have bishop c8 somewhere. Again, the only issue I have is I can't play rook b8. That's my one problem. If I could play rook b8 and put pressure on this pawn, I think I'd be doing very, very well. But it's not really an option here. See what he does. He has two queen d2 or queen c1. I'll go rook e8, threaten e5. Also, just guard the pawn so I can move the knight. So far, nothing too crazy. Seems fairly steady. Steady Eddie, as they say. In, in fact, e5 yeah, is e5. already a threat, actually. Uh, e5 is. So, this knight on c5 is actually a little loose, isn't it? It really um... is. And it's not that easy to. To stop e5, bishop h6 by Aryan. And e5 yeah, is I like still this possible. Move. e5 is still possible. Is it? Might not. Uh, 
Bishop eight shade by Hikara yeah. trying to keep the tension. Here I would very seriously consider G4 because yes. that forces the bishop all the way back to C8, which is what you were pointing out. Yeah. But so let's question, let's say then what? Yeah, that's the big question. Then what? Because not completely it becomes clear. even stronger. Knight eight. Yeah, th this I was looking at this move. I was trying to make this this move work actually. So after bishop c8, well, is an f4. This is his oh, idea. This is very logical. That's how we stop c5. But does it? <laughs> well, that's, that's the big question. Can you still it? do it? No, I think here it doesn't come with the same effect because it doesn't it, it doesn't crack yeah. white center pawn shape. So even if somehow tactically you don't lose a piece, and the eval bar seems to this protest might lose, actually, game, Just king h1. King h1, or... and you've gotten yourself into quite the tizzy on, on the e-file. Yeah. No, he's not he's not gonna play if I mean the eight or something. It's a little bit risky, but you know what? I don't care. I'm gonna play it anyway. And if F5, I'm just gonna go E5. That's my idea. And hopefully it works. I mean it's it's a little bit sketchy by me to play like this so early in the event. Um where all the results are fine, but whatever. Let's see. F5, E5 is 100% what I'm doing, though. If he plays F5. No, he doesn't. He plays rookie two, which I understand. But rookie two, not a bad move. But I think it lets me, hmm, maybe bishop F6. And actually, the more I look at this, less, the less I like my position. So I think, I think I'm just going to swing my rook over. This makes a lot of sense here. Just swing the rook over. Um, again, not super enthused, but I think I'm okay because the rooks are holding. Bishop g5 runs into f6, of course. I mean, maybe I'm just going to go f6, e5 here, honestly. I also have knight a5, knight b3 to get rid of this annoying knight, potentially. But again, very hard to judge. Very, very tough position to judge for either side here. I'm not really sure what's going on. f6 is not a move that I love, but I'm going to play it anyway, because everything is kind of holding here. And he, this bishop g5 could be pesky. Although I could have just gone knight a5, knight b3, because I always have f6 anyway, but whatever. The bishop on h6 also a little... I mean, it's not like hanging, but it's a little bit disconnected from the position here, because it can't go back, and the pawn is preventing um, the queen from guarding. So it's it's a little bit tricky here. This rook a2, rook a1, e5 is coming. I think... Yeah, and I'm the telling you, it's is, happening. Yeah, it's happening, huh? It whatever it. But okay, is. it's <laughs> it's, it's um it's not worse for White, but Aryan is already feeling un like he has uh, yeah missed an opportunity. Like the the train yes. has passed, right? He can't play a five anymore. He can't put a piece on e five anymore, and he's down not one minute now, but already two minutes. Somehow Hikaru has done this while keeping seven minutes on the clock. So looks pretty. I, I, looks like I'm the trying to find. Hikaru. Yeah, I'm trying to find a way to uh, tactically uh, sort of be able to deal with e5. So if I go king h1, which has been played, right? How do we now deal with e5? That's my question. So if he, but I want to take fe take fe bishop g5. g5. Yeah, rook f7. Mm -hmm. And now what? Yeah, that's the big question, isn't it? I suppose... Yeah. Okay, Hikaru hasn't played e5. He wants to keep the tension. Oh, he's going to... Oh, knight d8. The bishop's going to okay. be trapped. Okay. The bishop's going to be trapped. What a brilliant I've idea. I've got a cute idea. Uh, nearly. A, yeah, I wanted to go f5, gf, knight e5 or something insane like that. f e, queen, g5. Bishop G7. But Bishop G7, yeah, doesn't quite work. But actually... No, black is better. Wait. Wait, no. Rook E3, King H8, Rook G3. Oh, my God. Queen Which C7. Line? So I'm just looking. I'm just really getting creative today. F5, wow. GF. The, the Our computer entire is getting creative along with you. Wow. Okay, GF. Now, I don't know whether knight g5 or not. I think knight e5 is, is the idea. Okay, I knight take e it. I gobble. Yeah, queen g5. 
I yeah, it doesn't work. Bishop g7. Yeah, I wanted to go rook e3. You've got f4 as well. That's really unfortunate. Oh, f4 yeah. stops rook g3. I, I see yeah. that you wanted something like this. I wanted this, yeah. And Some this? Sort of, this, this? This I can see going... But even here, queen c7 or queen a7. Here. Yeah, it doesn't work. It, it all doesn't work. But I'm curious what his follow-up is in the real game. Okay, so f5, gf. So how do we deal with it? Yeah, you have to take, I guess. I mean, he's thinking about e5, right? He's probably thinking e5. g5 walks into knight takes g5. That looks yeah. very unpleasant. But I think he's just making sure that, that he's not missing anything. My guess is Aryan wants knight h4 in response to gf, aiming for knight takes f5. Up a minute and a half. I think I should actually use my time here. I think I got to trust my instinct that this is fine. If it's not fine, it's not fine. But I think I have to trust my instinct. Because e5 takes, takes knight h4, or, or bishop e3, e4, knight h4, just doesn't look very convincing to me. I mean, I think I'm fine, but it doesn't look like it's winning. Now, we'll, we'll see after the game what the computer says, because taking also feels kind of sketchy. But queen f4, I thought, was a mistake, because of queen c7. That was my initial idea. It was queen c7. I mean, bishop g7 is also probably completely fine. So it's, eh, this is tricky. So let's see, queen c7. Okay, I think... I mean, I got to trust my instincts with queen c7 here. Although, ah, maybe e5 was... No, but e5 check block takes is bad. So no, queen c7 must be right. It goes queen h4, which I expected. I assume I play knight f7 and e5. There's no trick. Knight e6, I just take. There are no checks. Yeah, I don't see any tricks. No queen g3, knight a6, knight e6. Knight e5, I just take the bishop. Yeah, I think this. I think I might just be winning actually. Now that I'm looking at it, because if he has to move the bishop, or I'm trying to take and just blast the center with e5 and close it all down, I'm just going to be up a pawn, and he's a pony that's doing nothing on c5. So bishop f4, e5 takes, 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 takes. I also have queen c5, queen g3, king f8 takes, takes. That's good. I'm either about to win or I'm going to lose to a very basic tactic here. There's no in between. Is either completely winning for me or completely lost. But seeing as he's using his time, I suspect it's completely winning. I mean, this is the only move that I can think of, but I just take... Okay, if he's going to go bishop h2, then okay, this, this must be winning. Um, now it's just a matter of how to play. Um, I mean, f4 is pretty attractive, but I think I should just... Yeah, I should just consolidate everything here. No checks. Okay, he goes queen h4. Ah, he has knight f4, actually. He has tricks. Ah, he has tricks still. Not so. I thought this was just gg, but it's not quite so simple. Huh, this is not so simple at all, actually. Wait a second. So... It's fine. Knight h4. I have knight g5, maybe? Or knight d6. Both, both are playable. Takes, takes, takes. Takes, takes. Yeah. It's... Looks like everything's still holding. I mean, queen guards the rook. The pawns are solid. I mean, the center, if I can keep this big black center together, this will be winning. Because his knight also looks... Okay, it goes rook e3, which I don't really understand. I haven't... Wait, no, knight e4 is no good. f4 is no good. Ah, rook e3 is a tricky move by him. I like it. Um, I gotta come with a move here. It's very hard to find a move. Um, What is my move here? a5, a4... Knight b5, no. Knight e4, no. f4, bishop f4. 
Um, okay, I guess I'll just play here. Now I flipped on Hikaru's game once more because this is still very competitive. Both sides down. Hikaru to three minutes, Aryan to two minutes, but White's position is on the verge of collapsing. Hikaru has managed to get this pawn to e5. White can never take because the knight is weakened. And Ariantari has one bar of connection. Nothing looks good here for White. Yeah, the one bar of connection might be the best thing about his position, actually. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bishop f4 is a cool little try, though. Uh, hoping for e takes f4, which would not be recommended on account no, of not. hanging rook. Got to get moving, though. I don't have all day. Fe5, de3. A little bit tricky here. I go rook f8, e5, fe5, bishop e5. Maybe I should have just gone rook f8 right away, actually. Page 6, queen e8, trade, trade. Takes, takes. 5, rook e5, bishop e5, takes. Shoot. Rook e5, rook e5, bishop e5. 5, rook e5. Eight. Queen G five, rookie five. Rookie eight. Knight F three, queen. I mean, okay. I think this is fine. I really don't know. Uh, rook, wait, wait. That's wait. I just taken. Wait, isn't that a blunder? E F four, rookie seven, F G three. Wait a sec. Knight g6, take 6, queen g6, rook f7. Takes, I just take. Knight g6, I just take and go rook f7. Yeah, I think this is game over. Knight f3, but now I assume I have rook e8 here. Yeah, the key is just to not blunder any kind of weird checkmate. That's really the only thing. Only thing now. Rook a seven, maybe I've rook a seven queen. Okay, well now this is just winning. Okay, now now I just have to mop it up. It's ninety four, and yeah, okay. I'm I'm also up on time, so that's the most important thing. Um, just go here. I mean, he gets a pawn. I'm not too worried about it. I just have to simplify here before this gets out of control. No, just e3, e2. Um, bishop d3, bishop g7, very easy. Yeah, there we go. Good win in round one. Very, very good start. Very good start. All right, you guys, we got a win again in round one. Um, I don't know. I mean, this is a very strange game. Is this just, this was correct, I assume. No! Ah, Takes was actually wrong. Takes was wrong. Wow. Huh. Oh, if he goes G4, he's apparently... Eh, maybe he's not better, but wow, that was actually a mistake by me. How bizarre. How bizarre. I thought E5 was fine. I, just, I wasn't sure what was going on here. I saw this. An F5, and apparently I'm just much better. Hmm. Bishop G5? Rook h7, hmm. Hmm, okay. All right, I, th I thought my round two would start right away because it felt like that was a pretty long game, but I guess there, there must be some other games. Okay, so I get Bornik. I'm going to play e4. The cams are up. What am I going to play against Bornik's Aliak? And he's going to play it again this time for sure. I'm just thinking what I want to play. Um, a lot of options. I'll for sure play the Al Aliak. I think actually, you know what I haven't played against him lately is the four pawns. I was thinking about this the other day. And um, I was wondering why I, didn't, why I don't play the four pawns against him. I think both cams are up, right? Yeah, both cams are up. Okay, let's go f4. Okay, so he plays the standard line. So knight c3, of course. Um, I believe the move is knight f3, bishop e3, and bishop e2. Okay, he's going to play this bishop b4 line, which is a little bit dubious. It's not like it's losing or anything, but it's definitely not the best line to play. If he goes c5, then I play bishop e3, and I can take the pawn, I believe, if I remember this line correctly. 
Or did I play the wrong? Maybe I played the wrong order. Who cares? Let's just go A3 anyway. Yes, to take. I think Bishop A5 is wrong. I'm not sure why it's wrong, but I'm pretty sure Bishop A5 is wrong. But we'll see. At any rate, it's going to be very aggressive because I'm going for a big kingside attack here. Uh, when he castles, I'll go like castles and then like queen e1, queen g3, and it's quite scary. I'll, I'll pre move this because it's a safe pre move. I'd be shocked if he doesn't do it, actually. And maybe bishop a5 is a move, although it looks, bishop a5 looks pretty sketchy. Looks like very sketchy, actually. Okay, so he takes, I take. All pretty normal so far. Now I castle, play like queen e1, queen g3, and go for the big attack. I think I can castle. Must be correct. If it's not right, so be it. Okay, castles is expected. I can play bishop e3 here. I mean, it just looks like the correct move, so I might as well just play it quickly rather than waste time. Although maybe there was bishop g, maybe bishop g5 was a move too. Oh, um, maybe bishop g5 was actually better. Okay, so this is going to get very sharp right away because he plays rook c8, so he's, he's intending to go knight a5. I can play queen e1 right away. I mean, I'm in the spirit here where I kind of want to be aggressive. I don't really want to play like a slow positional game here. I just want to be very aggressive. So I'm going to go like rook d1, queen g3, and just go for the attack. And if it's no good, it's no good. But that's just life. Let's see what he does. Plays knight a5. Um, now, first thing is I can actually take the pawn. I don't think I will, but it's the first thing that I should consider. Second thing is probably I should consider bishop g5. And then queen g3 looks very attractive. Knight h4 actually also looks like a pretty decent, like bishop g5, knight h4 maybe. A lot, a lot of options here. So let's think about this. If I take knight c4 and I play bishop d4, that's actually probably good for me. I think that, I think that might just be very good for me. But on the other hand, it's not the spirit of the position I want. So it's an interesting question. Do I take or do I play queen g3? Queen g3, knight c4, bishop g5, queen d7. That's all, all pretty standard. Um, bishop f6 is no good. h4 is a move. I mean, dc. I'm pretty sure dc5 is actually the correct move here, but it's really not a move that I want to play in general. But if it is the right move, it is just the right move, and that's just how it is. It's also quite similar to a game I had against Magnus. I think I had this against Magnus maybe in the, in the uh, finals of one of the Meltwater events. I forget which one. But I had something very, very similar to this. And I recall there was a certain moment where I think I was just supposed to take on c5. Do I trust my instinct? I think I'm going to trust my instinct. I think this is the correct move. Just my instinct makes me suspect that it's correct. It could be wrong, of course, but I think it's the right move. Might be two. He plays that really, really quickly, which is also kind of weird. Um, I mean, is this some kind of, is this still, th is this theory or something? Cause I'm kind of confused. He plays it so fast that I'm, I'm actually a little bit confused by that choice. Wait a second. So if I go queen g3, ah, is, is the idea to play bishop d3 maybe? Maybe the idea is to play bishop d3. I, I'm, I'm actually kind of confused by what's going on so far. He played that so quickly, though, that I think it's, I think this might be some kind of theory. Thinking about the position. Hmm. I don't know. My, I don't, I'm going to trust my instinct and just play queen g3. But I think that that might be a mistake, too, actually. Hmm. Maybe. We'll see. Takes, takes. Bishop d3. Counterplay, maybe. Plays knight b3, which I kind of expected. Um, now, the thing is, I can play rook b1. I, I can play rook b1 and cd4. Knight a4, bishop d3. And it doesn't look right. On the other hand... On the other hand, what am I doing exactly? I think I've just made a mistake in this opening. I've just completely messed this up. Um, yeah, I have definitely messed this up. And if I take b7, knight c3, bishop d3, I have bishop h7 tricks. 
definitely misplayed this though. And I'm also thinking way too long. I'm also way down on time here. If I play rookie one, knight c5. I can then play knight h4 or something. Yeah, I, th I think queen g3 is just a bad move. I mean, I should not have played that. So here, here, knight a4, bishop d3. Look at this position. Yeah, this is a very odd position to have the knights here like this. Very, very odd. But uh, looks as though uh, black is doing completely fine here. I mean, uh, it's very unusual. I can't recall seeing something like this, actually. But uh, black is stable. Yeah. Okay. And rookie one, okay. Right. All right. And what do you do here as black? What's the move? Is it a move like... Does queen d5 achieve anything? Does taking on c5 actually enter the picture? Do you play There's... something solid like bishop g6 simply and just kind of knight a4? Okay. I, I was going to say, yeah. I, I think the first order of business for black is to make sure the knights are safe. And the second order of business is to make sure the king is safe. But as you mentioned, bishop g6 always exists when you need it to block the g-file. Bishop d1, and the evil bar hates that move. And it's because of knight a takes c5. The knights defend each other. Yeah, and Hikaru just had a little sort of, you know, sh okay. he's, he's kind of perplexed at this. He's down on time. It feels as though you. It feels as though you should have a little initiative here as well. You've got both rooks on the on the king side. You've got your bishop there. You got your bishop. All your pieces are kind of on on the right side of the board. But actually, this one bishop on f five holds the position together. And I, yeah. So rook e three is a very logical move. Yeah, but I wouldn't trust the evil or plus three seems like way too drastic of an evaluation because I can see Hikaru... Is that what it says? It's plus 3.2 in Black's favor. My favorite, goodness. Which, wow. Which would make it seem like Black is up a piece, but Black is only up a pawn. Goodness me. Now, plus I would, three? I would seriously consider eliminating this bishop. But then, for example, knight takes d4, knight takes d4, bishop g6. Already white plays h4. And already yes. there's storm clouds gathering around Black. Maybe after H6, Black is totally. But there's fine. 90, there's also 90, 94 there and Knight takes C3, right, Daniel? Oh yeah, there Instead. it is. But this gets complicated. Queen F4. Ah, the knight C3, knight D5 with the fork. Jeez, knight 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 five. is doing work. Okay, so that we'll horse see what he is does. putting in the hours, yes. B6, a bit timid. H3. So both sides taking a bit of a intermission here to improve their position. This is still very complex. Anybody's game. I mean, maybe nothing good happens, but it's it's really the only approach I have at the moment. I guess I'll pre-move this because it's a safe pre-move. He probably won't take, but at the same time, he doesn't take. His knights are a little bit weird too. Like all the pieces are a little bit strange for both sides. And from that standpoint, it's good, actually, because that means that my moves are a little bit easier here. Like, I can just kind of wait, because I'm not the one who has to prove the position. He's the one who has to prove it. Uh, now, knight e4, queen e1, knight g5, of knight h4. I also have takes in d5, I believe. So d I think this works. So if he takes, I have rook g3, and then rook f5. And if I get a pass pawn, I mean, it's still not great. I mean, make no mistake about it. This still is not, like, anything to write home about it. But if I, but if I get a pass pawn... Then, with the bishop outside the chain, the bishop unable to prevent the pawn from queening, there are going to be chances to save the game. And I think he missed d5. I think he just flat out missed d5, because it's a, it's a very tricky move to spot. I'm still definitely worse, but again, there are tricks now. I mean, I also have like g4, h4, because this bishop, is, eh, bishop and queen are a little bit loose as well. So maybe, maybe, we'll see. It goes rook c1. I think I go rook g3. It must be the right move. Okay. Or not. Wait. Or do I play queen f2? Queen f2 takes rook g3. 
be three. We need four takes, we need six takes. There are no good moves. Because now I have G4, I have H4, I have D6. I mean, it's, it's still tricky. The crowd is Ooh. jostling for the Bortnik game, and Hikaru is making a comeback. I mean, what else is new? So what happens what here? Okay, so... Five. So Bortnik traded a bunch of pieces. He took on D4. Yeah. Then he toured yeah. around and traded the other pair of knights, but that gives Hikaru this move D5. Oh, geez. The idea being ED5, rook G3, and the bishop actually hangs. Yeah, you <laughs> lose the bishop. Cute. Let's lose the bishop. Okay. So Bordnik is now... forced to allow this pawn to get to D6. No. This is not what you want as black. The protected passer now is a, is a real long-term thorn. You can see it on Bordnik's face. Past yes. 10 moves or so have not gone in his favor. He's probably still okay, but... Playing these positions over the board are extremely, extremely tricky. Um, Psychologically, especially when you know that you've just been winning and now you have to deal with an unclear position. Yeah. It's so hard to adjust yourself. Plays F6, which I think is wrong. So I think I have H4 and G4 here. Wait a second, wait a second. So if I go H4 here, or do I play G4? Wait, wait, wait. Okay. I don't have a lot of time, so I got to be kind of careful about this. So I play G4, H4. Do I play Rook G3, Queen H6? No tactics. Takes is, it must be wrong. Bishop B3 is wrong. Rook G3, maybe? Ah, Rook G3 and Bishop B3, maybe. Maybe that's how I do it. Three takes, takes. Let's go here. I'm going to play Bishop B3, of course. Because now I threaten this. Takes, takes. I think that was a mistake by him. Because now I think my queen gets in. Yeah, but now... I mean, maybe he's okay. But this, this is starting to look kind of scary now. Because I don't need these pawns in the center of the board. If I get queen c7 here, I mean, it's, I'm going for it. I'm going for the hero, hero play. And I mean, again, this pawn on d7... Also very, very scary to play. Let's see, rookie seven. Rookie seven. Yes, rookie seven. Yes, yes. No rook d1, and then yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I think I, I, think I might be winning, actually. This pawn might win me the game here. I, I, think, I think I'm actually much better here. Although it's still not easy. Eight. I mean, still tricks, though. Okay, takes. I mean, I have to go here. Queen seven is not a move. The question is, do I have something better than rook g7? And the problem is, I don't think I do. Do I? I don't think... Eh, I don't really want to play it, but I don't think I have a better move. Bishop a4, bishop a4, e4. Yeah, I, I don't think I have... Eh. I don't know. I think... I gotta go for this. This might be a draw, but if it's a draw, that's still a, still a very very good result. Obviously, considering where I was at in this game. Oh wow, it's a crazy position. Now, if you take the rook, you lose. You lose to queen takes d eight. E four. E4 by Bordnik opening up a pathway for his queen, and that's an that's a genius move right there. I love it that. It prepares move. a perpetual queen a1 and queen e5. Active defense. I absolutely love this move. Queen a1, queen e5 ideas. Um, actually, you've got to be a bit careful here. If the queen ever just picks up this pawn on d6, you can be much worse suddenly as white. So this might be bailout territory for Hikaru and I. Don't know. He goes rook g3. Okay, so I'm expecting queen a1 check and... Oh, wait, wait, no. The no, no, then you drop the same. rook. Yes. Bishop g6 no, Bishop g apparently a mistake. Let's just go here. D7, he had queen d4 and takes. Rares 800.
105 just subscribed. Yeah, the good news is I don't think I can lose. That that's the good news. Um let's go here. Bishop c4 instantly stopping the pawn of the bishop, division of labor. And black is just paralyzed. That's the ultimate problem. E5. E5, I like. D7. And now like if I go. Crazy computer moves instantly. <laughs> he's just a beast, Bishop E6. Yeah, yeah he's going to play that as well. Bishop B5, and that's. Same. Oh, well, I was going to say, oh, Bishop B5. But now you can go E2, no? But then I go rookie three. Yes. And then something like. Oh. Yeah, well, you're still not, still not able to actually. Uh, bishop f five. Uh, sorry, e four. Rookie two. Bishop f five. Does that? Are we trying to hold? E e two. Rookie three. Bishop f five. Goes a six. I was thinking about that move, trying to distract the bishop from the pawn. Yeah. Now this is a clever move, and that. Uh, e two. Rookie three. Bishop d three. Followed by well, then e I just take, I just take on e5, though, because ah. like, you're not threatening anything. Excuse me. No, it's over. This pawn this pawn is simply too strong. I mean, once that pawn reached d6, I think we all knew how this game was going to end. e4, okay, logical move. I think I just take. e3, I just take, so he can't go e3. It's a logical move. Um, oh, wait, if I take his... Wait, but I have G3 here. Wait a second. I just have G3 and he's got no checks. And now I go check and I take the rook. Oh, wait, I blunt... Oh, my gosh, I just blundered. Oh, yeah, yeah. What the heck? He, he missed rook G7. G7. I can't believe it. And Bordnik is back in the game, but he's got 30 seconds. H5. Just go H5. Give your king move. some luft and play H4. Just go H5 and... Okay, queen d3. Another excellent defensive move. Oh. Wow. He saw Rook that. G3. Rook G3. This Rook is easy. G3. He's sitting this is an easy tactic. Is... How did he wow. miss that? Wow. Bordnik did everything to save that game and then, and then loses his mind. Blunder day three two. Unbelievably bad by me. King g seven, queen d two, covering the checks and threatening queen g five check. Okay. Queen f two is absolutely correct. Now, if e three, you take the bishop and there's a mate on f eight. Isn't this checkmate? Yeah, there we go. There we go. But check and queen g five mate. There we go. Got him. There we go. There we go. Very, very, very choppy game. Um, was I winning here? No, it's still G7's apparently wrong. Maybe it's, a, wait, maybe not. D7 is not actually giving white anything. So here, yeah, and, and about here it should be winning, right? Okay, it goes here. Ah, Bishop E6, I told you guys, I saw it as soon as I played Bishop B5. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. Uh, I saw it as soon as I played Bishop B5. Yeah, Bishop E6 just wins. Uh, because it, basically what happens is he, he gets no checks. The whole diagonal is covered and the queen is glued. So there are, no, like, there are no checks at all and he can't even move the bishop anywhere. Yeah, that's a little bit, little bit frustrating, but it's still a win. Like when all is said and done, it's a win. It's a win. It's still a win.